to the cattle farm enterprise and today we are at CVA farms and we are doing the hatchery process so in this video he's going to be showing us on the different stages on how we hash the fishes how you inject how you spawn the egg and all the processes about hashing so stay tuned as we go through the videos on all the processes of the hashing <music> Now, this is the broodstock selection stage. Now, at this stage, the broodstocks are brought out from the pond and they are being selected to be used for the hatchery processes. So, now the broodstocks are kept at different ponds, the male and the female. So, for the time of the hatching, we bring, we bring out the broodstock and select the one we want to make use of. For this process today we are making use of the four female broodstock and two male to do the hatchery process so we'll do the selection and get them ready to be used so as you can see the broodstocks are fully loaded in their size and also in the eggs that they have so in the hatchery process that we are going to be showing you now you see that the eggs are massive this is the process for fish production for our hashing. So first of all, we need to we need to first scale weigh the fishes to know their weight, so we can we can know the dosage of hormone to give them. So right now we we'll look at our we we'll look at we we'll need to set our our scale which has been set already can you see it is one k one it is on zero right now it's on zero so 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 We are going to put one of the fishes. You can see our females are gravy. This is an example of a gravy egg. You can see how heavy it is. Thank you. How loaded it is. So now we put it on the scale. So this is a um, 4.9 and 3.3.9 kg so it is stipulated that you should inject half the body size half the body size which is since it is 4 kg we are going to give them 2 ml 2 ml that is half the half the body weight so that is what we want to do so we want to inject this one now So this is, I, I, I prefer using ovuline, it is, it depends on individual, but what I use is ovuline, and that is what I want to use now. So you need to come forward so I can show you something. You need to come so you get it. In, in, in fish production there's a saying that says there's there are many ways to kill a rat we have it in fish production so in this segment i'm going to i'm going to do two different ways two ways and after me mr peter will also show you what he knows too there are many ways of injecting but the most important thing you need to you need to get is you need to get the lateral lines you need to get the lateral lines and this is it sorry my the, the, the fish is too big the fish is too big so this is the lateral line for a layman you can use this you can use this as your gauge this this here you can use it as your gauge to know where to inject. For me, this is the lateral line. 
UPS UPS then you move it inside so two two mil is what I'm I'm supposed to induce here this is one this is two if you notice the the, 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 the the system of the fish has changed if you notice you see there are some reactions body reaction I don't know if you're seeing it when it enters their system it is usually hot it hurts them so this is I've just injected this 4 kg female Fishes are usually injected in night before the hatchery process commence in the morning. So after the four brew stock to be used for the hatchery has been injected, we'll send it back to a pond where it will stay for 8 to 10 hours before it is being used. This pond you see, they've been washed, treated against bacteria for this production that is why we have kept it dry like this we have kept it dry but when we did not have a treatment plant because we now have a treatment plant that has stabilized our water when we did not have a treatment plant today we will put seal up the water against tomorrow before tomorrow the water will be stabilized but now we have a treatment plant it's for us to just wake up early in the morning fill up the tanks then prepare for hashing. Thank you. As the day breaks, the process is also continues in getting the pond set for the hashery process. So we have to get the net prepared, the cacabine that is going to be used for the hashery. Then also disinfect. But we are disinfecting it. So we used we used Potassium permanganate is a universal disinfectant. We have used it to wash this this net. We have used it to wash this net. So we are now we are now taking it inside to lay our net. So inside the pond. You see the water has been filled inside the pond and the nets are being set on it. Now there are various nets different persons use during the hatchery process. It's also called the cacabine. Now the net is being set and tied in all the ponds that are to be used in the hatchery process. The pH of the water is okay. very important before production let's know if the process the, the the water the water level if the water is equal it also has an effect you can come and see you can come and see um this is 7.2 are you seeing it are you seeing it this is 7.2 shows that it is okay the alkaline is okay water hardness you can see is okay iron is okay okay ammonia is okay so we are good to go Drain the water for me. So we are stripping the eggs.
plenty. It's plenty. So Do you know a lot of Lagos? It's plenty. <laughs> <laughs> So the stripping of the eggs continues for the other blue stocks used for the process. Wow, 1.1 kg. At this stage of the process, we want to get the sperm sac from the male blue stock. So the first stage here is to kill the male blue stock and you dissect the system to extract the sperm sac from the belly. So the process of extracting it means you get either a clear blade or a scissors, something that is sharp that you use to tear the stomach and extract the sperm sac from it, the sperm sac is going to be used for the hatchery process. There are also various ways on preparing it to be used. Now, you can, as you watch, you can see it's been cut into a plate and you have your saline solution to do the washing. Now, that's one of the ways to extract the sperm that you need for the hatchery or the other phase has to do with getting it directly into the egg. So these are the two ways it could be done. The prepared sperm solution is poured into the egg and is now mixed together with a rubber spoon. As you can see, it's been done. Now, most times, avoid using maybe metal object to do the mixing. It's advisable to use the rubber spoon in doing the turning when it has to do with the mixing of the sperm and the egg. So that's the process for the mixing. So after you've done the mixing thoroughly, ensure you mix very well. And after that is being done, you cannot proceed to the next stage. We are now at the final stage of the process. Is spreading the egg on the cacabine or the net, depending on the one you're making use of. So we are now spreading the eggs gently on top of the net and we we'll allow it to do the hashing process. So, we by God's grace, all things being equal. By 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. This is what's the time? 9.33. This is 9.33. By 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, the fishes should start hashing. And another thing that also affects the incubation period is the water, the temperature. The temperature so but with a with a moderate temperature by 6 a.m 60 to 70 percent of the fishes would have um, started hashing so stay tuned in our next video we're going to be showing you how the fishes are doing after they have been hatched and what are the different management techniques in the hatchery after they have been hatched so that is what we're going to be showing you in our next video so stay tuned do where to hit on the subscribe button like and share our videos 